Oh my god, that was so in sync, our waves. Um, <laughs> our second try. Our second try. <laughs> yes, this is actually take two. Um, thank you, uh, not thank you, oof. Um, <laughs> <laughs> thank you for watching, the video is over. <laughs> yeah. um, hello everyone, welcome to this episode of Catching Up With Yoseka Stationery, yeah. so, so casual. Neil is here today, yeah. um, we are filming this a little bit differently with Neil because yeah. our team has had a COVID exposure yeah, um, or yeah. I, I guess it's no mystery but Ashley may have been may have been um, exposed. She's eating lunch outside right now. Yes, um, <laughs> we're, we're keeping it very safe here because we don't want another COVID round two at, right. here at Yoseka. Um, so we're being extra cautious and that's why Neil is here today. He's very happy because it's been a little while since yeah. you've been on our Catching Up episodes. How is everything here at Yoseka for you, Ben? That's great. It's been um, busy. We are working through um, the planners. Planners arrived. That's a, right. A bunch of them. Yeah. Um, we had a happy hour last week. That's right, we had happy hour last week. Yeah, and oh, then, that was um, fun. We also went to um, the event organized by Soraya. That's right, this past weekend Soraya was hosting Trad Weekend at a local yeah. bar in Sunnyside and um, we, a lot of us, were uh, stopped by yeah. and it was great to hear some live music yeah. and to see Soraya. She didn't make it to our happy hour this past weekend because she was so busy organizing the Trad Weekend event, yeah, yeah, yeah. but she pulled it together. It was amazing. It was very cool. Yeah. Yeah, and our happy hour was very fun too. It was like a very yeah. open, big field. It was not, not just your typical bar, but it yeah. was like a lot of outdoor, it was an event space, I guess, yeah. more like, and they have concerts there <laughs> and this, whole happy hour was really a celebration of our successful Hobonichi release, which we have all of you to thank for. And we were just um, getting together to celebrate actually getting all of our orders out. Right, right, right. Yeah. yeah. It took some time, but we did it. It took some time, but we did it. Yeah, I, I feel like we're saying that all the time. <laughs> um, it took some time, but we did it. But yeah, it was good times, yeah. and we all, well, we had to leave a little bit earlier because of Jacob, but yeah. everyone stayed out. Some people stayed out quite late um, and had a good time. So I'm just glad, I'm glad that we here at Yoseka, we can like work hard, but play hard also at the same time. And I think that's very much our, culture nice. here, right? Yeah. yeah, I had a good time. Well, next week we do have um, Kakimori team coming. Actually, they're arriving this weekend. I That's think. right, yeah. Right. And anyway, we're setting up our whole store is going to be changed. Uh, we're going to make some video uh, for those who are online who um, cannot make it in person. We'll show some video for you. That's right. Yeah, I'm really excited to meet the team and they'll the event starts on the 28th and it goes till October 2nd, so that's five days yeah. of next week. And they'll be setting up in store Monday and Tuesday before we actually open. So um, for anybody who's curious about what our Kakimori event's going to be, be sure to check out our blog post. You can check that out yeah. um, and come visit us in store for that as well. Uh, this past week, we also received all of our planners. Right, that's right. Yes, not all of our planners, sorry. Yeah. Um, but for anybody who has been doing planner pre-orders with us or keeping up with that, yeah. we actually started to receive a lot of them. It was like like clockwork, like all of them started arriving like within a few days of each other. We have now received yeah. the PAL planner, um, our MD planners, our Midori planners with the exception of Hibino and right. Business Diaries. Uh, we have received Sora calendars yeah. and Shin Nippon calendars and Clade. Yeah. I think that's everything. We will be sending those out over the next few days and we've already begun sending those out. Yeah. Um, and we are also still waiting on Hemic Curry and we're yeah. still waiting on Take a Note as well. I think, oh, and Traveler's pre-order hasn't started yet. Obviously that's coming up on the 26th for anybody who's curious. Right. Yes. Yeah, there was also YouTube videos. 
Right, right, yeah. right. We worked on some new YouTube videos this past week. Um, with the restock of Yoseka Refresh coming out, the Pro Gear Slim, yeah. I wanted to uh, really do an unboxing and get everyone to see the colors of the Refresh and to explain a little bit about the background story of the significance of the pen and the story behind it. Yeah. So I was finally able to do an unboxing because we weren't able to do one in June when the pen was first released. Um, this past week, we actually also did another unboxing. Ashley did this one. Yeah. And as she as she rightly should have, because she is our Hobonichi expert right now. Um, and so she did an unboxing of the A6 Hobonichi right. Techo Planner. It's the black one. And um, she really kind of did like a deep dive. It was a little more thorough. It was much more thorough than I would have done it, honestly. Like she knows so much about that planner now. Um, and so for anybody who's curious about Hobonichi and they have been wondering what's this planner we've been talking about, be sure to check out Ashley's unboxing i think you all have really been enjoying it yeah and yeah. then um there, there should be more coming uh, right we have uh, a lot of planners and we i don't think i don't think we can do all of them yes yeah, we but, probably have yeah. like 30 planners all together all the different 30? types i don't know yeah, i yeah, definitely yeah. just oh. midori is like 10 or 12. right right, right. Um, yeah yeah so we might be able to do a little bit of comparison but we definitely will pick some of the main ones to go yes. through them yeah yes um, and lots of people have been asking me if we're gonna do like a Team Yoseka's planner video, and oh, yes, we're, we'll be idea. doing that too, but yeah. not to later because well, we don't know what our planners are yet. You don't <laughs> have yours yet? I don't. Uh, well, I just feel like every time I see a planner, I want it. So there's lots of possibilities <laughs> flying around <laughs> in my head. How many planners are you using this year? Just two. Using uh, the A6 oh, and A6 the weeks. weeks. Yeah. Oh, okay. And yeah. travelers, do you use travelers for travelers? But I don't use the planner. I don't use the planner in the travelers. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We actually made an announcement on Instagram that we have something exciting coming in all of your online orders. We have our we have some new yoseka stickers so cute so cute as you all know we love to include stickers in um online orders and we have these new small ones and these are just three of the designs these three new yoseka stickers i don't know if you know or if you can tell what they're featuring but this one is featuring our yoseka tote bag this one is featuring of course our number not number one our origin fountain pen and our refreshed fountain pen and then this one is featuring our first product ever our Yoseka notebook. Ashley made these new stickers in a new color scheme, new palette and I'm just loving them and we posted about them on Instagram the other day and everyone has been saying really good things about them so if you have an upcoming online order you will be getting these and I also want to shout out these we made some mini stickers too. These they are come mistakes. Yeah. What's funny about these is that they were a mistake, but as we all know, many things in the world are mistakes that have turned into our favorite things. <laughs> so this is definitely one of them. Just for reference is the size of a sticker as we know it. And by accident, we printed them in this size. It's perfect because we have our ink sample bottles, which are this small. And we thought that these little stickers we printed by mistake would be the perfect size to put on the ink sample bottles. So for anybody who orders ink samples from us, you'll be able to collect some stickers in your own way. <laughs> Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's a fun way to think about it. Yeah, I didn't think about that. Really? Yeah. Oh, I was so like, we I have, went uh, there. We have 50 stickers now, 50 different designs. Do we really? 50? Wow, that's a lot. Yeah. That's incredible. You didn't, you didn't read my post. Uh oh, I, I've been found out. I didn't read the old Instagram post. <laughs> oh my god. Um, yes, but 50. Wow, that's, yeah, yeah, we have 50. that strikes me. 50. So we have all of them on the table in front of us as we always do. First right. up, let's talk about Hobonichi. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> not Hobonichi. Hobby Stationery Box Volume 63 magazine. This is a quarterly magazine. Yeah. This month, they did a special feature on paper. 
So I'm just gonna flip through, and this is like a special feature specifically on Yamamoto paper. Um, and that's actually the person who started Yamamoto. Um, so yeah, if you are interested, oh, if you're interested in um, paper and finding out all about new paper types coming out of Japan, this is a good issue for you to check out. Yeah. So that's Hobby Stationery Box. Also new this week, we have actually added a new uh, designer artist from Taiwan called Loy Designs. And so we have a whole new collection from Loy Designs actually. And um, they actually have really cute collage papers that we've all sort of been fangirling about here like we leave them on this table here throughout the week um, in preparation for the catching up and every time somebody passes by there have been comments <laughs> um, these are like loose pieces of paper in various sizes and different colors um, and then these are some more collage papers here from boy designs really pretty like letterpress designs with foil on them and these different border designs, um, some letterpress card, letterpress books. A lot of the Taiwanese artists do these letterpress books. Um, I really like how these are sort of like, they remind me of like Game of Thrones vibes, Lord of the Rings vibes. <laughs> um, I love that, I love that style. And also new from Loy Designs is actually PET tapes and washi tapes so we have little snippets of them here so if you don't know what pet tapes are um they are basically just like plastic tapes as opposed to paper tapes and they're clear and neil's struggling with that one over there <laughs> um but yeah these are loy designs pet tapes they have lots of different designs this is um a floral design from from loy Really gorgeous. And then Loy obviously has like solid colored, uh, like paper washi tapes as well, which you have to remove the backing for like that. So that's what's new from Loy Design. We also added new inks from Diamine, and Christine just told me that these are 16 inks, not yeah. 39, which I was saying earlier, or 40, which I was saying earlier. These are Christine's babies, so she's like, don't get my babies wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you guys can check out these 150th anniversary inks from Diamine on our website now. They come in these really unique, triangular, three-side bottles, which, to be honest, were a little bit of a nightmare to photograph for Christine, but um, they're really unique, and they kind of like fit together like that, you know? So you have to get all eight to make a circle. Yeah. <laughs> you have to get all 16 to make two circles. <laughs> um, okay, so those are Diamine 150th anniversary inks that we added last week. We also added, oh, let me catch wow. my breath. Um, yeah, I know. And last but not least, I'm very excited to finally announce that we have added our, not LCN tin, but inside this LCN tin is our Yoseka Ceramics watercolors. We just decided to keep them in this tin because I think they're a great way to transport them and we were photographing them. But these are the color swatches for them and then these are the actual eight colors themselves. These are the eight colors of our Yoseka Ceramics inks that Bethany, um, a little while ago now, actually made into watercolors yeah. for us. So yeah, there you have it. Those are our newly added stationery from this week. I think my favorite stationery item has to be, I'm cheating, but it has to be our Yoseka Ceramics watercolors because these, were a process. I mean, I it's literally taken me like six months and I didn't even really Wait, do every six part. Months? I don't know, no, 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 uh, not six months. When was the event? May. Uh, yeah. I think it was May, so May, four months, come on, that's a long time. Yeah. Bethany first made these watercolors for us in May and they all sold out during the travel and sketch event. Then everyone online was like, I wanna get these inks. So I really wanted to make them available for people, so I asked Bethany to make them again. Um, then it was just the process of like packaging them. You see each one of these are packaged and swatched like this, and we put a little Yoseka sticker in the back. Um, 
So it was just it was just a matter of time and taking time, and then like Hobonichi happened and everything happened. So um, it was a little chaotic, but I'm so so happy that these are finally online, and um, I'm just so proud that we made these from start to finish. This is something that we really made from start to finish. And oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah. I didn't think about that. Yeah, that, that's very true. A complete thing that honestly, like I don't have a lot of made knowledge of water. Made in Brooklyn. It is made in Brooklyn. <laughs> yeah, Bethany's apartment is in Brooklyn, so it's made in Brooklyn. <laughs> yes, it's very true, made in Brooklyn. Um, and we even got the pigments from a local pigment shop. Yeah. Yeah, so these are a labor of love, yeah. for sure, for Yoseka. So anyone who got, I don't, I don't know, every time. Um, anyone who got them, uh, Laura, I wanna shout out Laura Iwanchuk. You were waiting like three months for these. I think I got an email every day from Laura, like I just wanna make sure these aren't going online today because I won't be by my computer. I felt so bad and then I was like, wait, I'll just save one for you. I'll just save a set for you, you know, I felt horrible. Um, I'm sorry that I was just like so delayed with these, but thank you for waiting for them and I hope that you love using them. I think my favorite thing are these stickers. Okay, that's a great one. That's a great one. Yeah, I think I think they're very cute. Th this time around, we were just thinking about um, making it in a different color scheme. It's yeah, so cool to it's see. It's so cool to see, and yeah. I think they actually came out very great. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. And I think people are very excited about them. I think so. Yeah. yeah, especially if you have both of these pens, and now you have this sticker. That's cool. Yeah. Um, okay. In our catching up episodes, we love talking about a few customer friends of the week. We have um, amazing customers every week, every day I get beautiful messages from people and I meet people who are so happy to be in the store. And this past week I met Allison over the weekend and I met her with Christine. And I feel like if Christine were on this episode, she would say, talk about Allison, but um, I was very moved because Allison was sharing with me that she was really, really inspired by Christine's blog post about her traveler's planner. Oh set up and then it was my first time meeting Allison in store even though she had been there many times and she basically like we have these trays on this uh, in the store which are basically shopping carts yeah. so we put everything that you're shopping for on your tray and then someone else gets a different tray um, and then I walked up to Allison because she was ready to check out and I looked at her tray and I was like hmm these things are familiar and I was like wait a minute these are just all the things from Christine's blog post <laughs> and it was literally like she was talking about how she she loves Deco Rush and she just got a Traveler's Notebook from oh. us. So she's going to be really in like duplicating Christine's planner setup in her own life, which yeah. I think is great. I think that it's amazing that we're able to inspire people as a team. Right. Um, yeah, and bring bring joy and bring inspiration in those ways. So Allison, it was a pleasure meeting you. You were so happy to be in the store, and I was just really glad to be able to finally meet you and um, talk to you. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I also have another customer friend of the week, Lissy, who it was her first time at the store, and I'm really good friends with her on Instagram. We talk all the time through um, Yoseka's Instagram and her Instagram, mm -hmm. but it was nice to be able to meet her in person. And Lissy actually brought her Yoseka Origin pen that she got from oh, us in a I Zoom saw. nib. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. and um, she told me that she loves to use that pen for drawing. Mm -hmm. um, and she actually, uh, a few months ago, sent us a drawing of Jacob that she did. The, of uh, We shared an Instagram story of Jacob like banging away at Neil's <laughs> laptop, like pretending like he was typing, and we shared that on Yoseka. And Lissy had seen it, and she drew a picture of Jacob sitting at that laptop banging away, cute. and it really captured his essence. Yeah, I yeah. love that. I love the drawing so much. And then she came to the store, I met her in person, we chatted, it was wonderful, and she did a portrait of me. Uh -huh. she a portrait of me with her origin pen in a zoom nib. I thought that was amazing. So Lissy, it was so good to meet you. I hope to see you again in store soon. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Do you have anyone? Well, I haven't been to the storefront for a long time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, 20, well, that's not 20, true. Like you're 30. there, but you're like in and out, in yeah, and yeah. out, like I'm, I'm bouncing here back and forth. Carrying a lot of boxes. Yeah, he's in. cleaning the windows for us. <laughs> You yeah, do, do important work, Neil. Uh, I have vacuum. Vacuum. Yeah, I He's been, our. I haven't yeah. vacuumed in a while. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. When are you going to do that? 
<laughs> if, um, if the store looks dusty next time you visit, you can send me a little message about that. <laughs> it's, uh, it, it's really been kind of busy. Yeah. I, I, I remember Saturday I saw like a feather on the floor. Me too, actually. I saw it at the beginning <laughs> and I guess nobody picked it up. Nobody picked it up. And then next day... I was like, how did that happen? Why is there a yeah, feather yeah. there? And then Sunday, I passed by, I saw it again. I picked oh. it up. Oh, you picked it up. Yeah, you know, Good it for up. you. High five. Oh. <laughs> but, um, aside from that, we, we made some TikToks and people have been making a lot of comments. Yes. Um, if I really make a stretch, I think those are my cousin and friends. Oh, yeah. everybody who comments on the TikToks? <laughs> uh, That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Uh, those are, uh, uh, everyone who comments are very entertaining. Yeah. Yes. There's one comment. Oh. That um, I mentioned that they're like, I, I I thought I was looking at a Starbucks barista. Oh, that was hilarious! It was, yeah, it was you showing the vanishing point. Right, right, yeah, yeah. right. So, so I was in my apron, right, right. Um, which is green, and I was holding the vanishing point matte black and right. talking about it. And yeah. somebody commented, "Why is this Starbucks barista <laughs> telling me about this pen or something yeah. like that?" And it was like, "Good one, good yeah, one." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you make us laugh. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Those are, yeah, I, I love the comments. Section. Yeah, yeah. Neil loves like he loves more more than anything. He loves like an Instagram post or a TikTok that gets comments. Yeah. Like you know, not just likes or anything. He loves the engagement. He loves like getting to know our customers a little bit better through the comments in that yeah. way. So yes, that's a good answer. Oh, thank you. Very good. Thank you. Wow. Okay. Thank you. Um, well, that's about it for this week's episode. I hope you all enjoyed it, and um, I hope that you will very soon be getting your packages from Yoseka of your pre-ordered planners yes. with your new stickers. Yeah. Um, and thank you so much for all of your support. We'll be back next week with another episode of Catching Up. See you then. Yeah, see you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.